Hey, hey everyone, Xfrenas here, and it's been almost 5 days since the release of the iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak by Pangu. And we are running into certain issues, specifically certificates expiring. These are Apple developer certificates. This video isn't meant to tell you what that means, it's meant to tell you how this will affect us jailbreakers, and how to solve it. First of all, the certificates used to install the PP jailbreak app are being revoked by Apple. That is why we can't jailbreak using Safari anymore. This is also the reason why PP on your Windows asks you for your Apple ID to sign the app and install it under your Apple ID. But that expires in a week. And the PP app will crash on your phone and you will need to re-sign it every single week, which is a major inconvenience. The first people to jailbreak got the one year certificate that will last for a year until the PP app crashes. Others weren't so lucky. The Chinese app still installs that certificate, but the English one doesn't. Now I got the certificate for one year, so I'm just here helping people out to get it as well. Now I'm not sure if Apple can block these certificates if they are already installed on a user's iDevice such as mine and verify it, but they can sure stop new users from installing the PP app such as they did with the Safari. In my last video, linked in the description for my iPhone, a combination of App Signer, Xcode, and the official IPA file for the Pangu jailbreak app were used to install the PP app and jailbreak the iDevice. But I noticed on mine that two certificates were installed, along with a duplicate PP app. The certificates were my personal one tied to my Apple ID and the official one the one year enterprise Beijing Hong Yuan Pangu certificate or whatever. Now, I'm not sure if Apple can block this after it's verified since it's already installed on my phone. And I thought I'd share my method which I use to install it. Now, it's not the Chinese app, it's not even on the Windows. This was six hours after the initial release of the jailbreak back when people barely even talked about certificates, so I'm not 100% sure if it works, but it doesn't require respring and, uh, I mean, a restore, and it doesn't crash your the iDevice, so it's worth a shot, you know? Hope it helps. Now, follow the link in the description, and it'll teach you how to sideload the PP jailbreak app onto your phone using Xcode. I don't know how this works on Windows, but the Chinese version of PP already exists on Windows, and it installs the one-year certificate, so why would you even want to do this? Now, the thing is, definitely don't use the English version, because that's just shooting yourself in the foot. That just lasts one week, and that's, that's no good. Now, again, I hope it works, and yeah, click the link on the screen or the description if you're on a mobile device. Bye.